Hi everyone, Heather Mahalik here with another Tip Tuesday. This week I want to show some of the filtering capabilities within Blacklight. I'm looking here at link files under actionable intelligence, which you can see on the left hand side, but I quickly just want to apply some filters, which you get to by clicking on these little arrows. I'm going to add a filter and I simply just want to include anything that includes the extension docx. So I'm going to apply that and you'll see it'll instantly narrow down. Now from here, I want to add something else. I want to add another filter. So I'm going to click a plus and this time I want to do a target date created and you can do is exactly or what I'm going to change it to is is between. So I want to say a target date that is in between 2020, January 1st, 2020, let's say, and maybe a date in the spring. So I select my next date and I do apply. And then once I apply it, you can see that it just keeps narrowing down all of these items. So now we have all of the items created for target created dates during that time. And then we also have only docx files or anything that has a docx extension included in it. So this is a great way for you to simply filter down your evidence to make things more viewable and easier during your investigation. If you need to clear your filters, you simply press reset and you know that you're using a filter when the filter button is green.